All right, so I wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of other developers with Unreal that either don't know about this or don't know how to set it up. That's very simple to do. Uh, it's a free way to have source control and I've had no issues with it at all. And uh, there may be some specific use cases that require perforce and for that more power to you. But for anyone who doesn't want to spend anything and doesn't need anything special necessarily. You just go to DevOps here and you can sign in or create an account, but I'm sure that you can figure that out. So I'm going to let you do that. We'll go to DevOps organizations. All right, so these are your different repos. You may have to create an organization. I can't recall. It's been a little while. So I've already created this test repo. You do that just by clicking New Project. And you'll go over here to the left where it says Repos. And you're going to see this URL here. So you can copy that. Then you'll open up GitHub Desktop. And we're going to add there, clone repository. You'll put the URL in here, then choose the path where you want it to go. I'm sorry, I skipped a step. So let's, let's pretend that didn't happen. So you're going to go here on your repo page, scroll down. Let's say you're using this for Unreal, so you'll want to initialize it before cloning it. So there we have the repo active. So once again, we're going to copy that. Clone. Now, if it does ask you for a password, which it usually does, I'm really not sure why it's not asking me right now. You're going to want to generate Git credentials. And you'll copy both of those. It's going to have a little box that pops up asking you for a username and password, oftentimes, when you set up one of these repos. And as far as setting up the repo itself, that's about all there is to it. You do want to make sure that you fetch before you place any files in your repo, uh, or it may detect a mis mismatch and it's just a pain. So, do make sure to do that. So now you've got everything set up there. So we can close out. And when you're in Unreal Engine, you'll just go down here to the corner. Usually it'll say connect there, but I'm already connected to my own repo. So you'll just choose Git, and that is it. You'll just accept, and you're connected. I do recommend going in the editor preferences here and go up to all settings. Turning on automatically check out on asset modification. That just should make your life a lot easier. So then when you're done, you're just going to go here, submit your content, and that's that. It is that simple.